Kahaina. I'm Ahuke Kahu Cartwell with the Kiwani Foundation here on Free Hawaii TV, a part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. Well, with all the talk and activity now ramping up to elect delegates for Na'iapuni and then to hold an AHA or Native Hawaiian Convention to decide what form of government will be established, we want to draw your attention to an article OHA trustee Peter Apo wrote for Honolulu Civil Beat that was published on September 3rd. The article's title is Who Are We Building a Nation For? And in it, Peter Apo has some very surprising and revealing things to say. A ship without a rudder is how Office of Hawaiian Affairs trustee Peter Apo describes the current Na'iapuni effort and the upcoming AHA or Native Hawaiian Convention. As honest and revealing as this remark is, in his article, he asks an even more important question. Peter Apo gets even more honest when he writes that the current Na'iapuni plan to have a Hawaiian nationhood model made up of just Hawaiians would not stand a political test. Then he says if you're going to restore a nation, the citizen base must look like the original, meaning the Hawaiian kingdom, which of course was a country with this. Then Trustee Apo introduces one of the most important concepts of all. Peter Apo states that the concept of continuum is critical to the process of restoring a nation. In political terms, a continuum simply means that for the restored nation to be legally and politically legitimate, it must look exactly like the nation that was overthrown. Now this is a huge problem for the backers of Na'iopuni, since their goal of a native Hawaiian governing entity is nothing like what the Hawaiian kingdom was. And Peter Apo uses one word to describe that. He says that to emerge from the AHA or convention with a Hawaiian only nation would be a fake, since a Hawaiian only nation never existed, going all the way back to the time of Kamehameha, uniting the kingdom in 1795. The last thing Peter Apo says in his article is the most important. He states the Na'iopuni model would not survive either a U.S. political vetting process or international scrutiny. In other words, a fake state is now about to create a fake Hawaiian tribe. Now, if you think this information is important, share this free Hawaii TV video with all your friends online. That's how you can support a free Hawaii. I'm Ahu K. Kahu Cardwell with the Kiwani Foundation, right here on the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network.